I said that Red Baron Brick Oven Pepperoni Pizza was the best frozen pizza. What's up guys, Luke Foods here and welcome to part three of the frozen pizza debate. Now in part two, I tried Motor City Deep Dish, Home Run Inn, and Screamin' Sicilian. Now my boy the Red Baron is still the king on top with an 8.2 out of 10. Well, technically that crown is shared because Motor City Deep Dish also has an 8.2 out of 10. Third place is Home Run In with a 7.8 out of 10, and Screamin' Sicilian is fourth with a 7 out of 10. Now, I still love Screamin' Sicilian, it's just not as good as the other three. So after looking at your suggestions, what three frozen pizzas did I choose this time? We got lots of matzo pepperoni, which was $8.39. We got Amy's margarita pizza for $8.99. And we got freschetta brick oven five cheese for $12. Now you guys gave me a lot of suggestions, okay? There was Wild Mike's, there was Newman's Own. Well, I will get these pizzas over time, don't you worry, because like, I, I, cooking three pizzas at once, man, that's a lot of pizza. What am I, a Domino's? Who here wants Domino's? Look, there ain't nobody. Forgive my outburst. Let's enjoy some pizza. Yes, very intriguing. As I'm waiting on these pizzas to cook, let me tell you something. So basically, I was only doing pepperoni pizzas before, but some of you guys specifically requested Amy's Margarita and also the Freschetta 5 Cheese Brick Oven. Some of you guys said that those two were better than the pepperoni version, so we're going to get the best version. These all look so good. Look at these. My goodness sake. Will the king be dethroned? We got our trusty basin of ranch. And no, that is not enough ranch, okay? Ladies first, we are starting with Amy's margarita. Any cheese? Nope. Let's get it. Now for the ranch test. This pizza, I did not burn it or nothing, as you could tell by the crust, but it's really crispy crust. The seasoning on that is super good. That's a good margarita pizza. However, I do not think it is better than the Red Baron. However, it's really good. I will say though, for nine bucks, it's pretty small. I do think it is better than Home Run In. So Home Run In was a 7.8. I'm going to give this an 8.0. It's super close, but not enough. Now for Freschetta 5 cheese. And where is the cheese pole, man? This was five cheeses and there's no cheese. Let's get it. Holy smokes. This is so addicting. When I took one bite, you guys didn't see it, but I ate like four more instantly. This thing is super good. Now for the ranch test. I'm tasting a massive Parmesan buttery flavor. The crust is delicious. The cheese is amazing. Yeah, I'm not really tasting too much sauce. It's mainly the Parmesan. Is this one better than the Red Baron? Because obviously my reaction was pretty good. Yes. I'm not even joking with you. I did not expect the Red Baron to be dethroned. This pizza, the Freschetta 5 Cheese Brick Oven, is insanely good. It's a pretty good size, but it is $12. And Red Baron Brick Oven Pepperoni is only $5, okay? So there is quite a difference in price for there to be an increase in the taste. So overall, I would give this pizza taste-wise a 9 out of 10 for a frozen pizza. Really good. However, I am going to bring it down because it's so expensive. So I'm going to give it an 8.3 out of 10. But it truly is better than the Red Baron taste-wise. But is it worth it? I mean, you could literally buy two Red Barons and still have money left over with this thing. But yeah, I will take my loss, okay? I'm going to be completely honest. This thing tastes better. Now for the lots of matzah. And this thing looks delicious. Look how cheesy it looks. Cheese bowl? Eh, whatever. Ranch test. I'm going to be honest. This pizza, the cheese, the crust is pretty good. However, these pepperonis right here, 
I do not like at all. They got kind of a funky taste to them. So if you get the lots of matzah, I do not suggest getting the pepperoni. It is greasy. It is weird. I might retry this one in a different video without the pepperoni, but this one in particular gets a 5 out of 10. No thanks. Overall standings after three episodes. Seventh place, we got lots of matzah pepperoni with a 5 out of 10. Sixth place, we got Screamin' Sicilian with a 7 out of 10. Fifth place, we got Home Run In with a 7.8 out of 10. Fourth place, we got Amy's Margarita with an 8 out of 10. Tied for second and third place, we got my boy, the Red Baron, with an 8.2 out of 10, the Brick Oven. And then we got the Motor City Deep Dish with an 8.2 out of 10. And first place, I gotta give it the crown. Freshetta Five Cheese Brick Oven. 8.3 out of 10. It is a cheese pizza with basically no toppings but cheese. However, it is so good. To the one who picked this pizza out, you are legendary. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Look out for part four. It will be coming soon. Also, big news. Tomorrow, May 15th, at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, I am collabing with Wayne Dane. Wayne Dane, okay, on Fortnite, okay? This is weird, right? Fortnite. However, we're going to have a good bit of stuff going forward, too. So, join the stream, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, May 15th. If you subscribe, you get to play two games with us, okay? Heck yes. See you later, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this pizza debate series and even though the Red Baron has been dethroned, I'm still going to continue this.